These are the plaintiffs, Alexandria and Stephen Newton. Alexandria says she had to postpone her wedding due to COVID. And the defendant said she could use the flower deposit money she gave her for a future date. When she called to reschedule recently, the woman upped her prices by almost double. And she doesn't think that's fair. And she wants her $500 back. So they're suing. This is the defendant, Adina Brooks. She says the plaintiff changed the flower arrangements when she rescheduled her wedding. And when she told them there would be an additional cost, her fiancé went nuts and started screaming he wanted a full refund. She's not going to work for a hothead like him and is not giving them their deposit because deposits aren't refundable. She's accused of causing wedding woes. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $182.85, the balance on their original contract. All parties, please raise your right hand. The People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Williams is now presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Your Honor. Ms. Newton, you are suing the defendant's flower business, Ms. Brooks' flower business, for $500 the return of a deposit that you say you gave them and you are counterclaiming against them the rest of the cost of the services that they contracted with you for, an additional $182.85 that you feel they should pay you. All right, Alexandria, tell me what happened. So, um, good afternoon, Your Honor. We got engaged in April of 2019 and we had planned to do our wedding a year later. And so uh, we met with Adina at her flower shop on January 31st of 2020. And I just told her, you know, my vision, which was like bohemian, just green and white, very simple, but elegant. That's what I wanted. So she wrote us up a quote. Um, I went there originally with my neighbor because my neighbor had used their shop previously. And so the things. quote for what was it you, she was going to do? For, do you have the, the quote with you? Yes. May I see it? So. She was going to charge you $682.85, and yes. for that you would get the following. Your bridal bouquet, the maid of honor bouquet, the bridesmaids bouquets, loose fresh flowers for petals for the flower girl, groom's buttonier to match the bride's bouquet, best man buttonier. Yes. So you pay a $500 deposit, and then uh, lo and behold, a funny thing happens on the way to your wedding, and that's a, a worldwide pandemic. So you postpone your wedding until another so, date in 2020, right? Yeah, so um, the governor shut down Henderson on March 15th. What state are you from? Nevada. Nevada. Yes. Okay. Did the governor outlaw dancing? Because some state governors uh, outlaw dancing, which I still don't dance. understand. Yeah. Like, I can't, how are you going to tell me I can't dance? All right. So in any event, when do, do you get married? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, when do you get married? May 26th of 21. Of 21. Yes. All right. But before your wedding, you communicate with her that you'd like to change your order, correct? Correct. And what did you want to add? The only thing I needed to add was centerpieces because originally we had um, an organizer for our wedding at a golf course. She, we didn't have that anymore, so that was on me. So I just needed some centerpieces. Which How many tables? A total of seven tables. Seven centerpieces. Did you ask for anything else besides that? Uh, I added a boutonniere for my dad because I forgot yep. originally. Uh huh. And then we added a flower girl. But other than that, no. But what do you mean no. you added a flower girl? We were going to have one and then we ended up okay, having two. Okay, so you just needed more loose yeah, flowers for the flower exactly. girl. Exactly. Anything else that you added? No, that was it. Okay. And what kind of, now there are centerpieces and there are centerpieces. What was so, it you requested? I did the triple vase with mm -hmm. the water and the floating candles on my guests, not the bridal party or the... Is this what you asked her for? This, I was providing that. Okay. All I asked her for was eucalyptus and baby's breath for that the tables. That were going to be where? In, va in uh, wine vases that I provided. For every table? Yes. Okay. What are wine vases that you pr would provide? What does that mean? I have a mean? picture. Yeah, here? let me see. Okay. Perfect. It's in my phone. Thank you. Okay, so they are wine bottles that have been painted. Yes. In like a metallic color, and then you asked her, so is this what you're calling a centerpiece, or did you ask for something more than this? That's all I asked her okay. for. Okay, is this a picture taken at your wedding? Yes. Okay. What is it that she gives you that you found such objection to? Because she, she, you the, ask her for a final bill with some additions, these additions, 
and what does she do? It ended up being almost double, and we were just like, why? All I really added was eucalyptus and baby's breath, and then she throws in random charges that she wasn't charging us originally. Okay, so up- okay, so do you have then a new document that she sends you explaining the charges? I do, Your Honor, and I also have notes on here. That's all right. Okay. Okay. What's free eucalyptus? You weren't charging her for eucalyptus? No. Every, you write the words free eucalyptus in this bill. What, what is free? Well, I know she had freesia as one of her, ta- her flowers. Maybe that was what was included you in there. You think free? I wouldn't have given free eucalyptus. Okay, so I, didn't, I wouldn't think so. That's your business. So, mm-hmm. you know, three wine bottles with eucalyptus and baby's breath and free eucalyptus. You should, maybe you should write the word freesia so we don't have a... Mm-hmm. In any event, that is on the bridal table and that you were charging $40 for. Out of curiosity, why is that one more? Because it was what? Because it's three wine bottles instead of one? I don't Maybe understand. that's what it was. Probably just because I, I charge by the stem with my flowers. So that's how I, in my head, how it works. Okay, so it was originally $628, right? And something? 82, mm-hmm. 85 cents. How did it get from 682 to 1119? Well, because there was also setup fees and delivery fees involved. So the setup fee now is 150 as opposed to 25 initially I charged her just for a drop off. And then the delivery fee is 60 bucks but you weren't going to charge her that beforehand. They moved their venue to Boulder City which is the neighboring town. So it's a whole different delivery. And then if I'm set doing setup as well, I have to bring another employee. So that's why there's more fees. I wasn't I'm not trying to That's just normally what I, they actually really got if you look at the pricing on here, if you've ever paid for a wedding, it's very inexpensive. So you didn't like this quote. So the normal thing after that then becomes, okay, I'm not going to hire you to do the extra stuff because you like the first quote, the right. one from two years ago. Yeah. So why isn't that just what happens? Why don't, when she calls you or, or when you, when you find out that, you know, I'm not really, why don't you just tell her, never mind, let's just stick to the original contract? I needed centerpiece flowers. That's all I feel we really even added. I just don't understand how it became double. And I have, I also Well, have... did you ever talk to her or your husband um, was just yelling on the other? What happened with the husband? Yeah. What happened? After we received the final quote, we were both just like, oh my gosh, why is it almost double? And so we asked to meet again and she preferred to just call us. So this was over the phone and then she was going line by line and Stephen just... What happened with Steven? No, I want to hear about Steven before. From me? Yeah, of course from you. So You're married now. You better get used to it. (laughs) Go ahead. So we're on speaker, and we're going over everything, and he's like, why is it this price? Why, like, why is it this price? Why are you doubling the price? Why, I have also a bridge quote from where we met up during, and she said $60 for setup, and on there it's $150. And for drop-off, the venue is way closer than our original venue. So he, it's just things like didn't make sense to us and Stephen right. got And this is how is. long before your wedding is this happening? 10 days maybe, oh, maybe two weeks, 10 days. Not yeah, not much time. <laughs> okay, and so what happens in that phone call? Why don't you tell me? Let's hear from, from your husband, Stephen. Stephen? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Right. Did you lose it? No, I wouldn't say so at all. Um, it's just the fact that you're going to tell someone a quote and then you don't stick by it and you just... Well, no, th- no. What y- you guys keep saying that, but that's not true. She didn't change the original quote. Mm-hmm. Why do you keep saying that? She just was charging a lot for your extras, right? But didn't explain that. It's just okay, the price but went she from did A ex- to B. It got explained because this is the same. This is the- first of all, she doesn't need to explain the stuff that's the same is the same. You can see she's only charging sixteen dollars for the extra boutonniere. You forgot. That's completely fair. And then the stuff that you added besides a boutonniere, this is what she wants to charge, and you feel it's too much. I get that. But w- why don't you just then stay with your original deal and go buy eucalyptus at a flower shop? And, and there was a lot of lack of communication. It was no, there's a, a lot of commu- I think there's extra communications. Weapons. So tell you tell me what's the communication that's happening? Um, you know, I think initially the break in communication happened because of the whole pandemic thing. Initially, when I met with with Ali and her neighbor, her neighbors are one, a regular customer of mine. They made the appointment, and I worked with her. I actually gave her her pricing is a reflection of. No, it's really good her pricing. Neighbor, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, her neighbor was a regular customer, so right. I, out of respect for them, and changing the date and all that, I, they're not the only, you know, no, bride right. that I had that we had to do that. So um, 
I worked with them. I worked with all my brides during that. Like, who wouldn't have no, done that? No, that's fine. And then you give her the quote for the extra thing the she's quote, asked for. And she doesn't saying... like your quote. Why isn't the next thing that happens you telling her, well, listen, that's what I'm going to charge for the changes you I didn't get the want. opportunity. Because what? Because Mr. Newton was... Uh, I had to make the decision, and I felt very bad because for, well, no, Mr. For her. Newton, what? What did he do? The way he was speaking what to was me. What was he saying? What was he doing? Just screaming in the background. She's crying. He's screaming, I want my refund back. I want my deposit back. I want this. I couldn't even really explain it properly with this. And I told her, I said, I'm really sorry, but I can't. Anything I do at this point, he's going to have a problem with. So, and to have somebody speaking to me that way, I'm a business owner, I, have, I can refuse service to anybody. And we're all in this, and I don't like to see a bride go without, but at the end of the day, I can't have any, anybody talking to so me. So what'd you it. say? What'd you say to him? I couldn't talk to him anymore, he's on speaker. I never was on the phone with him. Okay, he was so just what'd you speaker. say to her? I told her that I couldn't work with it. And, and then I told her, well, I'll do the ceremony flowers if we can get him to calm down. Because she said, he just needs to calm down. And then after he kept going on, I said, you know, I'm really sorry. I can't. Did you mention the, returning the deposit? <sighs> yeah. OK. So you told them, I'm going to return your deposit. Yeah, but there and was more after your that. your bookkeeper sent an email. Yes. And you authorized that email. I did. Because the bookkeeper doesn't just, you know, I mean, she's paid to add and subtract. She's mm -hmm. not going to send an email that's not authorized by you. And in that email, you tell them, I am not going to do, when did you send that email? What date? On June 3rd. Okay, but the wedding had already passed. No. When oh, their the wedding? wedding. Yeah, I hadn't speak, spoken to them since before that. So okay. yeah, June so 3rd. So on the phone call is when you say, I'm going to return your money. I don't want anything to do. I don't know if I said that on that phone call. Because we've had many conversations or, or interactions. Okay. Before her that. wedding, you said that though, right? I don't know if it was before the wedding. Well, then, w w when you tell them I'm not working for you, why would you keep the deposit? If you decide, which you have the perfect right, that you're not going to be talked to that way, and you, you say, you know what, I can't work with you now. W you must have said I'm returning your deposit, because I know in an email a few days after her wedding, you say, I'm returning your deposit, we will not work with you, we will not, our employees will not be talked to the way he, blah, blah, blah. So you say all those things. So I think you probably did say it in that phone call. According to you guys, what does she say in that phone call? Your Honor, she said, she asked me what I wanted to do, if I wanted to move forward with the new quote or if I wanted a refund. And at that point, I said I would like the refund. Without having found another florist? You didn't even say, let me think about it and see if you could get another florist? It just, it wouldn't it have was, been good yeah, communication. That was not working. It, yeah, no. Right. <laughs> Things had gone sour. Right. What was he saying to her? He was just angry with the pricing. Okay. So, so she, on that phone call, she tells you, I'm going to return your 500 Correct. Which is consistent with the text, the emails that come afterwards that say, we're not going to have anything to do with you. We're returning your 500 Do you ever return the 500 No. Okay. And that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. So why, if you said you, were gonna, you weren't going to work for them and you were going to return the 500 because you weren't going to work with anybody talking to you that way, why didn't you then do what you said you'd do, which is return 500 In the wedding world, um, canceling an event 10 days prior, we, when we booked she, weddings... They didn't cancel the event. You did. I didn't cancel the event. Well, he told me he wanted his money back and he was not working with me. Right, I understand. I never, I, said, I never said I wanted to you move forward. You said, fine, I'll give you your money back and you won't work with me. And then based on that, they hired another florist rather than having you do the original contract, which is what I would expect to flow from this. You want these things. This is what I'm charging. I'm not going to charge you less. So, you know, whatever. But if you agree to let them out and you agree that you're going to return the deposit and based on that they go out and hire another florist mm -hmm. rather than getting their $500 worth out of you, okay, because you said you'd return the $500 on a $600 contract, then how do you think that we're going to get to court and that I'm not going to order you to return the, the $500? I agree. So, well, then why am I here if you agree? Because you know that's going to happen. You have to know. And instead what happens is you file a counterclaim for $182. Because that goes back to what I was saying before in, in, in my industry. When, we, when people put a, a deposit down, that's holding your date. I no longer can take another bride for that date. Or, you know, I have a certain amount that I can take. And I lost out on that. No, and I get it. And, and I worked with them. I, I, I get it. I let it. them change and I, twice. I get it. I get it. Because a lot of, I've had a lot of litigation from vendors during, you know, all, all the sweethearts who wanted to get married in, in 2020. And I've had a lot of vendor litigation where the vendor said, no, that was your date. And um, the vendors haven't done well. Uh, because if you can't, ha you get hired to make flowers for a party that can't happen by law, mm -hmm. then, you know, right. um, so, but I get it. So you guys have ended up eating a lot of 
of, of COVID. Yeah. Um, and it's put a lot of people out of business. I, I understand all that. I have a different situation with you, though, because we're past that. Mm -hmm. You had given them a new date. Everything was fine. The problem was that Mr. Newton spoke to you in a way that you didn't want to be spoken to. And you made a decision. You know what? Fine. I'll return your money. Go somewhere else because I'm not doing business with you, which you have every right to do. But you did it. You did it, and then you didn't send the 500, and that's the problem. They go out and they hire. You hired another florist. Correct. Everything good? Yes. How much did the other florist charge you? I noticed that the florist didn't do the 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 other florist didn't do centerpieces, right? She just did. The, she just gave us flowers. Right. Okay. And how much My, did you pay the other florist? 900 total. Oh, you know, if, it, if she had said to you, listen, we'll pay you 900 if you just give us the flowers. You don't have to do any setup or anything else. Would you have done that? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. The extra fees were the setup. Right. There's the lack of communication. See, here's the thing. Stab one, let her handle in the future. I'm going to tell you this because this is a dynamic between my husband and I. No, it's the opposite is the dynamic between my husband and I. <laughs> Literally the opposite. I am you, he is her. Let, 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 see what you can figure out with honey and then come in for the kill. All right? You and I come in later for the kill. But if you start with a murderous objective, you are not going to get anywhere. All right, a uh, lot of heartache, a few lessons. You have to return the 500. You don't get any money on your counterclaim. Verdict for the plaintiffs in the amount of the $500. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Your Honor. Thank you. So the plaintiffs have prevailed. They're going to get their $500 back. Ms. Brooks, let me just ask you, number one, did you really think you weren't going to have to pay them that $500? No, no. I agree with the ruling. I mean, you can't be surprised that they sued you for it. You said you'd give it back, then you didn't. So finally, they sue you. And here you are in court, and the judge says, yeah, you got paid. Mm -hmm. no, no shock, right? No. All right, would you do this again if it were the same situation? No. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, Mr. and Ms. Newton are the plaintiffs. Let me ask you, Mr. Newton, do you think you were really overly rude to her? Do you think you've learned anything from this? Uh, I don't think I was overly rude, no, but I definitely learned a lot to uh, listen to her first. <laughs> I mean, I think ha had you not mouthed off to her like you did, you guys could have worked this out. You may have had a, a you know, you may have had a, a much more pleasant wedding. By the way, how'd the wedding turn out after all? The bottom line. It was great. It was beautiful. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Okay. Well, very good. How's married life? It's great. <laughs> Treating us well. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. At least something's good here. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. you get your $500. The judge right, says you. you deserve it. All right. So that'll bring this case to a close, Harvey. So, Doug, this is a really interesting case because it involves a concept called reliance, that if you have a contract, but all of a sudden things go sideways and there's some agreement that, well, I'm not going to force you to honor this deal. I'll walk away because I'm not happy and the other person relies on that statement, they can't come back and then say, well, I want to enforce the contract, that's it. Reliance is a concept in the law, and if you rely on somebody and it's appropriate, that is as enforceable as a contract. Marilyn, is there an item that you keep putting off on your to-do list? No. My to-do lists have to-do lists. I, know I have, yeah. I, I use that option in the iPhone with, cal with reminders, right. and I right. have 17 different reminder lists. That, that is true. Including a, a list that I share with you to remind you of what you have to do. Sadly, yes, that is true. Right. And I like to write them down on pieces of paper. And then lose them. And then I lose them, yes. Right, so, right. So you or always, you like to keep them up here. I keep a lot of stuff up there. Yeah, right. where does it go? Uh, you know, I, sometimes I execute. There's those like a plans little monkey in there I with don't. symbols playing, and you know, it just goes away of I don't know uh, what. I get some stuff. And I tell you, list. Here's the thing: lists. you are the kind of person who you you start early on your to-do list, and you won't stop until everything is done. You're not like uh, no, that's two not or three true. Things. There's things that like you know may take a, a project that might take a little longer, so that right. stays there a little bit. Right. Well, I got you know, I think my current uh, champion item among the things that I've been putting off on my to-do list is it's been like four years since you've been asking me 
to fix the fence in the corner of the house. Oh, the where the side. dog escaped? Where the dog used to escape. Yeah, the escape. dog doesn't even bother she escaping got, anymore. She's she gotten care so less. old. She's so old that she doesn't I even waited. escape through there I anymore. I kept putting that off on the to-do list. still on my to-do to list. I just looked at go. it today. Yes, it's so, still on your to-do list. I finally <laughs> conquered it because she's so old. She has no interest in No in interest in escaping anymore. Because it was going to be a filthy job. I was going to have to dig it all up and put the fence down into the ground. I have one item I haven't done that's been on the list for over a year or two, What's that? which is to organize my photos in oh, iPhotos. Oh, that's but I that's have, a brutal job. I have 65,000 photos right, right, in there. Yeah. Um, so that's yeah. just too daunting. That's so that has time. been on there. That's going to take time.